Hey y'all, it's VJ. It's Jay. And this is a sip and, and a shot. Woo, 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 woo. We are here. Yeah. And we don't know what we're going to talk about. No, we're just going to be honest. So <laughs> we just recorded our um, taste test that you, yeah. you've already seen or heard of by this yes, time, by by time this comes time. out. And we were just feeling so jazzy after all the rosé that we said, hey, bitch. Let's go for let's it. Let's do another episode. So here we are. Um, it's like an off the cuff. This is what we're going to call yeah. off the cuff. VJ loves off the cuffs. We, ain't put, we haven't put out one yet, but <laughs> she loves them. One day we'll put out an off the cuff. One day it'll be fine. That she did. Well, that no. I did, but it was great. It was okay. It was It was like hey, top. Let's start on our progress. drinks. So... <laughs> <laughs> this is a Washington apple minus the, I'm saying minus the apple pucker. So typically a Washington apple is made with cranberry juice, whiskey, and apple Sour pucker. apple pucker. Right. We had um, Jack Daniel's apple. apple, Tennessee apple, and we had cranberry juice. So we were like, we It already has apple it. flavor in it. You're fine. If you use Crown Royal apple, same thing. Same thing. Cheers to the good. Cheers to the bad. Cheers to all the things we wish. Oh, they can't see our cheers. Oh. Wish, wish we, we had. had. Don't spill on my MacBook. No, no, no. We did good. Mm-hmm. Washing an apple. <laughs> Tastes like it. I hate apple. Well, this is what happens when you make up <laughs> things. We can't and this debate. <laughs> we can't debate what we're going to drink. I know. But that's that's the fun the fun one because like it didn't take us hours to figure out what song we were gonna use. No, nope. it was just like, yep, whatever. it sounds good. Let's do it. Whatever. Let's go. So the next one is a sip and a shot original. Ew. We are Ew. calling this the surfboard. Surfboard. <laughs> we did not practice that at all. So this has. Do say. Wash. Mm. Watermelon. Yeah, wa simply watermelon juice. It has a little bit of lime juice and, and some rosé. Rosé. It's Underwood. The can is some. We didn't add the wear. bubbly one. No, we add. Oh, it's all the way on that table. Yeah, over there. It's um rosé wine. Underwood yes. rosé wine without bubbles because yeah. if you shake things, you don't want to shake things with bubbles. That's so we put soda on top or bubbly things on top. Um, and I didn't like the bubble one. So yes. So that. we were like, and we, it's not, it wasn't our favorite in the taste test if you didn't watch it. Um, so we're like, we got to use it so really we don't good. have to drink it. Cheers. Cheers. It was supposed to start out with us. Tastes like wine. I think the wine is what threw it off. Yeah. I feel like it would be so good minus the wine. We should have did less wine. Yeah. Yeah. I think I did four things of wine. Yeah. So now we just need like one shot of wine. Yes. One thing of wine. And that's what you'll... You need to write that down. <laughs> we'll hear it. Okay. <laughs> and one thing of wine. You'll hear it. Um, uh, you know what? I'll write it down. Because mm -hmm. I think it called for what? Two ounces of wine? Yeah, we said two ounces, but it should be one ounce and maybe make that other ounce the watermelon. No, I don't... We had a whole lot anyway. Okay. So... One ounce of rosé. And I, if I'm being honest, I would have done the rosé bubbly. Okay. Add, add a little bubbles yeah. to it. You want to add some to it now? See how they... <laughs> this is the parts of, like, doing your own shit. There you go. I feel like it needs more watermelon. I taste the watermelon. I don't really taste the douce. That's the goal. Sounds like your garage door is going up. It's the sun. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's We're see. right over the sun. Elevates it. Mm -hmm. Definitely go with bubbles. Takes it up a notch. Go with bubbles. Def go with bubbles. Anyway. Anyway. We don't have a topic for today. <laughs> so We're going to be so... When we were, oh, oh. When we were <laughs> recording this, you know what it made me think of? What? Festivals. Yes. Yeah, we actually, one of our questions in the video was, would you take, would you sneak it into a festival? Yeah. We're not saying sneak alcohol into festivals or any other recreational things that you decide to sneak into festivals. Follow the rules. Um, but if be you safe. were, Please drink responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> but if you were going to do that, would you sneak it in? And we, we've been the, to... The wines we use, we decided we were not going to sneak in. Yeah, only maybe two out of three would have gotten. Yeah. Two out of eight. Would have been worth the sneak in. Yeah. 
So we, so now I'm thinking, because we don't have a topic, let's talk about our festival experience. Yeah. So several years ago, we went to, it is several years at this point. It is. We went to Made in America. Yep. That was my first music festival. Same. I was not prepared. Not at all. <laughs> for what a music festival is. Would not go again. <laughs> yeah, when we left, we were like, we this is never this was again. a terrible experience. I'm more of a jazz in the garden gal. Yeah, or like a drink fest, a rose fest. Yes. I'll go to like something yeah. where I can get like my picnic blanket. I'm a, not being pushed chair. in the crowd to the front. So that type of thing. So we went to Made in America in 2015, mm-hmm. which was Labor Day 2015, and Beyonce and The Weeknd headlined, and headlined. J. Cole was there. <laughs> which is crazy because I feel like, do you feel like J. Cole, now I understand why J. Cole would not have headlined. Yeah. But then J. Cole should have been the headline. Yeah, it was a great show. And it back then you, didn't, you weren't listening to J. Cole like no, that. No, and he got me, I wasn't listening to J. Cole or The Weeknd. I love my voice. J. Hooked, Cole. They got me hooked. Voice gone. It was he did so good. It was so much fun. So we go, right? So the first day we go, we're looking for park parking for about an hour. No, no, no. First we need to talk about our hotel experience. <laughs> so okay. we stayed. I don't remember. Oh, we stayed at King of Prussia. And I feel yeah. like I have this bad <laughs> hotel like thing where the rooms I stay in are one not my room. <laughs> well like when we get there, it's not my room. What happened? Oh, we got, oh, okay. We got there. We get our key at night. You know, we drove up there after work. Um, Get our key to go up. We go up to the room where, we go up to the floor where our room is supposed to be. And we're standing outside the door and we hear men talking. (gasps) Oh, yes. (laughs) Like, we hear them talking loud. And we're like, y'all sat, this is not, we probably should not stay next door to these young men. Right? They weren't young. They were older men. I'm like, trying to refrain from saying what they they were in a fraternity. <laughs> it's not like we were like, are we standing next to the mm, the bros? <laughs> it was like, oh I remember, no, no, no. Yeah, but they, you know, I'm saying older. They probably our age. They, now. Yeah, <laughs> but we or were even like, like a little younger. Twenty four. They like, I would get them twenty five, twenty six. You would? Yeah. Then why would that many men standing in the room like that? Yeah. I mean, I think it was just like we weren't mentally prepared for that to be next door to us. Yes. And yes. so as we're going to put the key in the door, two women open the door to <laughs> oh, our God. room. <laughs> and we're like, oh, hello. <laughs> we're like, oh, okay. And they're like, hi. You're like, this is supposed to be our room. Our room. And they're like, oh, they did the same thing to us when we got there. And then mm-hmm. as we're having this conversation, the men walk out and we're like, mm, yeah, no. <laughs> this we're, gonna, is this is, we're, we're okay. So we're going to go back downstairs and then we went back up and the key didn't work. The key didn't work. Oh my God. I forgot all about this. Yes. Yeah. The key didn't work. So we had, I think by that time we were like, all right, one of us is going to go downstairs. The other one's going to stay up there. there. So I went down. I think I went down. I'm like, mm-hmm. our key isn't working. So they gave us new keys. Did they upgrade our room? I don't think they don't upgraded. Think they did. Yeah. But we went, so we got up there. Finally, I was like, this should work. <laughs> Cause you're like, I'm not going back down. Oh, I'm, I'm, like, not, I'm, not, I'm not doing it. Like, okay. It still That's happens fine. to me all the time. So I, I went back down. I was like, so our key didn't work. Yeah. And then went back up, and I think it worked. Yes. So we get in a nice room. Yeah, it was a cute room. It was a cute little room. Supper beds. It was about Regular. half hour away from the yeah definitely yeah supper beds. Half hour away from Philly. Yeah, like Philly downtown Philly. Philly. Yeah. Um, I had a cute Did little casino. Did we do anything that night? I think we just went to the, there's a casino attached to it, yeah. but nothing was going on in the casino. I think it was a wedding or something. Yeah, it was a wedding staying there. It was a yeah. lot happening in that hotel. The lady at the desk was selling liquor out her trunk. Do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> she sold liquor out of her trunk. Okay. Yeah, she was like, oh, we were like, where can we find a liquor store? She's like, well, if you can't find nothing, I got a couple bottles yes. in my trunk. He's like, I think we drove, we decided to drive okay. around. Yeah. But it wasn't anything going on. Nothing was going on. King of Prussia. Yeah. Did we go? No, we didn't go into the city until the next The, the night next day. Yeah. yeah. So the next day, we got our, we went to the liquor store, we got bottles to sneak into the mouth of all. We made our drinks. We made our drinks. Um, The line was long as hell. Yeah. In the sun. We just weren't prepared. We weren't prepared because if we would have been prepared, we mm-hmm. would have had a blanket. Yeah. We would have had um, chairs. You could have chairs. Uh, the older people had chairs. They were able to like, they like, just popped it over the fence. Oh, okay. Because where we were sitting, they were either sitting on like chairs or a pool or something. That's like true. That. Yeah. yeah. 
So, but it was like a lot going. I remember like, they had like three or four different stages, and I am not a crowds person. person. Yeah. No. I remember for the inauguration, mm -hmm. the Obama's first inauguration, mm -hmm. me and my dad went down there. I had a panic attack, a full-blown panic attack when we were trying to leave because everyone was just like pressed against me mm -hmm. and I didn't see a way out and I freaked out. No bueno. And I didn't know. That was my, the first panic attack I ever had where you like, you can't feel your legs, you're shaking. You're like losing it. Yeah. And um, I was like, I know me well enough to know that this is not for me. And I remember we went and we tried to get in the um, crowd. In the crowd, but I can't remember who was who was getting ready to perform. I think it was like Nicki Minaj or Meek Mill. I think it was Meek Mill. The first night, Beyonce was headlining. Yeah. Um. So just let's just get into this. Made in America has food trucks as the food. Mm -hmm. There was a Ferris wheel. Yeah. A bunch of different stages. The swings. This like the yeah the swings like you can see at Six Flags I guess yeah. in the Maryland Six Flags. I don't know about the other six flags around the country. Um, but we it we couldn't get the lines at the food truck were, were so, so long. long. So we were hungry that day because we didn't like think to pack snacks or anticipate how long the lines were gonna be. And yeah. I think we got food and the bread was like so hard. It was just horrible. And then we met some random people. It was a bunch of girls that had like one guy with them and we formed like a train and we were snaking so through the crowd. Them. And I was as deep as we were going in because in the, the way they had it set up is when you walk in the main stage is of course all the way to the front. Yeah. But then they had smaller stages, stages. like two smaller stages on each side. Mm -hmm. You can't get through those no. crowds because of you can't get through those crowds to get to the main stage. So I was like, listen, as long as we get up there by the time Beyonce performs, I'm good. That's it. I'm I'm good. And you know what? I think that was a mistake. <laughs> We, we actually found out, we knew it was a mistake. We found out it was a mistake to try and get to the front for Beyonce because we were up there, I think, maybe We two, snaked through. Yeah, we were close, maybe two or three performers before Beyonce because we knew you got, if you want to spot at the front. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That was fast. I forgot to ask the salad dressing. Is it? So we didn't even like think about it's that. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we snaked through because mm -hmm. we found like this group of girls and this guy, and he was like, We're going to get all the way to the front. So we're like, Okay. okay. I remember we're going through, we're getting through. I don't, we were far enough for me. Mm -hmm. And I think you let go. Yeah. And I think I turned around and somebody was on my back and I was like, hey, James, I'm not, Yeah. I'm I'm not staying in this. And you were like, me neither. And no. we, we left. But that was after, it was like, I think we got, we stood there for a while and then it was one performer before Beyonce and that's when the crowd started pushing and mm. like this girl was like on the ground and she was like screaming and we were like, oh, this is not, <laughs> this is not us. We need to go. <laughs> And we sure enough walked all the way out mm -hmm. to the side. We went to where the older folks was at. I got like good. Um, a little 40. <laughs> like 45. people who have done festivals before. Yeah. And you realize like when you get all the way to the front, you can't really enjoy yourself anyway. No. Like you can't move. You're stuck to people. Or people are pushing you. Yeah. Like, everyone's high and drunk and we were neither. Not even. Not, so, our alcohol was gone. We didn't. Yeah. We were not prepared. I remember the one. I, I don't know if it was the second day we went, and it was like a festival. It was a on the side, mm -hmm. and all of our um, Caucasian counterparts were just yes. like dancing, like oh. yeah, they were getting it. Yeah, getting I, it. was that the first or second day? That was the second day. Yeah. So, I, and then I remember a friend of ours was mm -hmm. there also. Okay. So by the time Beyonce came, I think the crowd kind of thinned out a little bit because remember we got closer at one point. It was because we were on the outside, and yeah. we weren't close to this. We were close to the jumbotron to the side. Yes. And there yes. was this lady with this big, like, natural hair wig on. Yeah. And we couldn't see. <laughs> Very and So upsetting. we kept backing up. Yeah. But you know which friend I'm talking about. 
I have no idea. That was there? Nope. Male or female? Male. Large. Oh, bitch, what are you talking about? He was there. I don't know who they're talking Oh. Has a young nickname? Yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got it. Young nickname. I was like, how am I going to say this? He was there. Okay. Yes, he was. Yes. But I think by that point, we had already done like the Christmas party thing and yeah. it was a wrap, but we were still cool. Yes. Yeah. And I think he was like, he was dope because he kept us safe. Sure did. And then sure. I think we like dipped out on him. Mm-hmm. Good for that. You know, I'm but good for like the parties. Say, <laughs> I'm good when I get a little drink in me. I'm like, all right, I'm over this. Goodbye. The highlight for me was after we left mm -hmm. and we drove back to King of Prussia and we went to Taco Bell. We went out that night. Do you remember that? We, we tried to go out. I think we went like, like a, Fat Tuesdays. Yeah, like a Fat Tuesdays. Yeah. But shit, stuff wasn't really popping mm -mm. out there. No, it was, it was a good. It was a good mix, yeah. but not like a you would expect for an after party for like a concert or something to be. Right, right. Because we're from DC and we think that after parties after are going to be packed. But it's not. <laughs> that we're going to be packed. Mm -hmm. But we did go to Taco Bell and we cleaned the fuck up. At Taco we. Bell. It was so crazy. I don't know why this was the highlight, but we were like, <laughs> mm, yeah, we'll get that because they were getting ready to close. Yeah, and, and they were like, getting rid of all the we stuff. We try that, and she was like, the. <laughs> Do y'all want these nachos? Yeah, she's like, yeah, sure. I'm gonna just throw them in there. <laughs> when you, I tell you, we had a Taco Bell feast. We had everything that was on the damn menu. I don't yep. even think we ate everything. No. Oh, but, but that shower though, where you can see the dirt rolling off of your body because of all the dust at Made in America. It was an experience. I had on white shoes and a white shirt that had holes Sure did. It. Sure did. And it was like the worst thing. <laughs> Those shoes weren't coming back. <laughs> okay, so if you were to do a festival again, what would you, um, what would be your... Go-to, like, festival. type of festival. Yeah. Like a, a rosé festival. I've seen, I'm so mad. Every time the rosé festival comes to D.C., I have a wedding. Yeah. That weekend. And we never know about it. Like, no. we forget, like, we don't know about it. And then the one time we were prepared for the Rose Festival, it was damn COVID. COVID. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> like, we had blocked it out. Like, hey, everyone, we had got our outfits together. I won't book any weddings that weekend. So we can go. Like, we had our pink. Like, we were ready. And then COVID hit and it got canceled. We were, on the, we were ready for that shit. So yeah, yeah and the pictures and videos of that is so cute. Because it's um, like, to me, it's like black excellence. Yes, and I love events that black people or people of color go to, and it's like a vibe. Like, it's not, there's no drama, there's no extra craziness. Everybody's just out there looking cute. I love when people get to look cute. Yes. You have good drinks because you drink a rosé. Yep. And the music is on point. Yeah. And like, people are out there vibing, line they dancing. Their, their blankets. The their big rosé. hats on them. That's what it's I'm talking a, it's about. It's a vibe. That, you know what that reminds me of? That what? time we went to that polo match. <laughs> oh, the polo match was... That what? was... Was it that year that we went? No. Yes. Was it that year? Yeah, because I had the locks. Oh, I had the locks in <laughs> too. We had the locks. <laughs> we were on... I think that was the year where I was like, I want to try new things. Yeah, we were on a real, like, because we had never been to a festival. Oh, wait, we got to finish our festival okay. story. So then the no. second day we went, we saw a few a few more friends. We were a little bit more prepared. Mm -hmm. We saw a few more friends from um, Towson. Towson, Morgan, and whatever. We didn't even get to the girl peeing at the time of four body. <laughs> I feel like we're never going back. Because it was a girl, we were standing in line for the porta potties. And you know, the festival, if you've been to a festival, you know the lines for it, the porta potties are dumb long. But it was organized. I will say it that. It was organized. Everybody was, was in it line. It was like crazy. It was for long. the festival. So this drunk girl, <laughs> she had waited in line for a while. Come stumbling up to the front, right? In this romper. Because I'll never forget this shit. And everybody, and she's like banging on the porta potty door. And everybody in line is like, her Baby friend girl. was in the porter potty. Was it her friend? Her friend was in the porter potty. Listen, and you know we align with other black people, <laughs> and we might not say nothing, but we talking, we talking about it to each other. And Everybody we're talking like, with our eyes. You know us. We like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Look at you. See this? You see? It? Oh, okay. So she ended up pulling her romper bottom to the side, Doing stepping spread eagle, spread eagle. She stepped wide. And started peeing right outside the front of the porta potty. Just standing up. <laughs> Just standing up. And everybody in line is like, 
What the fuck is you happening? See the urine, and it's and she's flowing down. You she, you know that drunk, that good like, drunk, and you can hear it. And mind you, she's a few porta potties down from us. She's not even at the porta potty right in front of us. She's a couple rows over. And then my favorite part was the person in the porta potty trying to come out, and she, <laughs> she closed, closed the door the back. back. Like she's <laughs> romper pulled, romper bottom pulled to the side, got her arm up, like no weight. And it was a <laughs> big ass pee. In front of everyone. And then she finished and just walked off. And everybody's like, we're like, she gonna wave. And she, she gonna, I, I res- you know what? Looking back on it, I respected it. Because if it's an option between peeing on yourself? yourself and having like a wet romper versus I, just pulling that thing to the side and get like she wasn't naked. You couldn't see you couldn't see everything. You didn't if you were on the other side you wouldn't know what was going on. I would say go to the other side of the body. I would say take take a she wasn't gonna make it. She wasn't gonna make it. She no that that was a serious I think that was it. I, that I knew I was never Yeah, happen. we were like and we're done. Yeah. <laughs> Good enough for me. It Thank you. Everybody's like, like, did you just, am I? You know when I knew I probably was never going back to Philly? <laughs> to Philly <laughs> so Blanket. Philly out of, out of. Because, no so we stayed three days. Yeah. And on the way back, we were like, oh, let's, you know, we let's ain't got brunch. Do, let's do, no, let's not do brunch. Let's go to a museum. Let's find something to do. And we wanted to go to a museum. We wanted to do, go to a museum, and then we wanted to go to find Philly Steak and Cheese. Oh, yeah, we went to Steaks. We're from D.C., where all <laughs> of the museums you can walk in, they're free, you know, it's a vibe. We're spoiled. We're very spoiled okay. living in D.C. When I was looking up the different, because smartphones, you know, was really, they were popping. hmm And they had just started popping where you could look up the different spaces or different museums and it's like fifteen dollars for this twenty dollars yeah. for that it's like we can't just walk into a museum which was no. so weird to me but i also remember us being like oh let's just go get brunch out here before we go home yeah but we didn't go to brunch they didn't even have they, a damn brunch they don't do party i don't okay they might do it now but back then they didn't have no party brunches like yeah. we party brunch in dc you know brunch is our thing it was it was crazy so we did find it was what was good was we did find a steak and cheese spot. We found the like was, the, were they at that? The, yeah. But it was like a hole in the wall. So it wasn't the like what yeah. is it, Mike's and Jerry's. It was like a hole in the wall. wall type. It was definitely not those Geno's. It was not packed. It was it was, it was empty. Dope. And they knew we were not from Philly because would you ask for like a sub? A sub like they're like, a what? <laughs> They're yeah. like, oh, you're not from here. Yeah. We were like, oh, no. And then they, they hooked us up, though. They, like, took care of us. Because we were like, well, what should we... We want, like, authentic steak and cheese, but, like, what else should we get? They get... We got, like, french fries with gravy on it. I don't know if yeah, you want that. I do. I think it's because you said steak and cheese instead of cheese steaks. Oh. And they were well, like... because when I go to what? Danny's, I get a steak and cheese. I guess. <laughs> I always call it cheese steaks. I don't know what the proper term is. Yeah, well, cheesesteak and I, or no, 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 I wanted a chicken cheesesteak. That's what it was. Oh, yeah, and they were like, what? What? (laughs) They're like, you're not from chopped up chicken. I was like, I'll just get a steak and cheese. And we sat at a table in the back. Yeah. And they just brought us food. They just brought us stuff. Is it good? Yeah, I like this. Like, yeah, you want the cheese with? You know, we should have started a damn vlog back then. We should (laughs) have. Listen, life in 2015 was interesting. <laughs> the wild ride. Every year of my life has interesting moments. Moments, and I think our friend had left early because we ain't, we ain't see him again after Beyonce. Maybe because we ditched him. We didn't ditch him like you. We were ready. We were ready to go. Okay, just because we were ready to go doesn't mean we didn't ditch somebody. <laughs> just because you're like, yeah, I'm ready to go, and you just leave. That doesn't constitute a non ditch. I think that was the second time, I, third time I went to Philly. No, I went to Philly after that. I had a great time for my friend's birthday. I went to Philly before that with an ex. <laughs> oh. We went, um, we went up there and we had a really I mean, nice You talk about it just for the cameras? <laughs> we had a really nice <laughs> I was like, you had a what? We were like, we were tourists. So we went okay. like, we just toured the city. It was fun. Like, yeah. Cute little young. I was like, my bestie was in Philly this weekend. I, I saw like, her in Philly this weekend. Living it up. Okay. She texted me. She was like, Well, when this comes out like two weeks ago. And she was in New York. Yeah. I was like, oh man, did you get the vaccine? Because you're just traveling. 
She live in Atlanta now. She listen. They got different shit popping down there. <laughs> Don't matter. All right. <laughs> up here we're in the house so would you go so you said you wouldn't go to another festival yeah I, I wouldn't go to another I don't think I would go to another music festival like that actually that's a lie I would go to Coachella I was gonna say I would go to Coachella but I would just need to at, we would just need to be super prepared I need more money <laughs> I would need Coachella like a, like a nice, rich person like a nice like space yeah I need to do like Rihanna and Dallas <laughs> Coachella not like basic not like us us <laughs> like i need like right to be with the models and the celebrities you know i want somewhere that because i like there's nowhere to use the bathroom like you're in the desert you know That's if i'm being honest bodies, but i had a great time watching beyonce on my tv <laughs> like at other. home yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Because like when you think about it, when you're there, you're not gonna catch everything that she wanted us to catch. She put mm-hmm. in that video. Yes. You're not gonna catch it. You're not gonna be like close enough to really enjoy yeah. it. Thank God she put that on Netflix because there was like so much watching it a year later. It was like I didn't even realize you did that, or you know, like I didn't know that happened, or I didn't remember that happened. Like mm-hmm. it's fun being in the moment at concerts. But it's also, like, it's great you to be able to, like, day. yeah, remember it. Like, yeah. I remember my sister's first Beyonce. I will never forget that. She had a time of her freaking life. It, it was Beyonce does a great amazing. concert. Yeah. She, like, tried, you know, the hell, it was after Prince died, and she did, like, a Prince mm-hmm. Whitney Houston tribute thing. Okay. And she had, like, confetti was coming formation? down. Was a formation? That was a formation tour that she yeah. never released. Yes. <laughs> she, she was like, you guys can remember it in your memories. Yeah, in your mind. <laughs> You're good enough. What? Okay. Like, Wait, no. I still I hit the dance moves for the concert, there. and that's when she she flew across mm-hmm. from one plus one. And uh, she did the confetti, and my sister was like trying so hard to catch confetti Aww. out to the side. Uh, and then the people behind us, everybody in like our section, saw my sister like losing her mind, <laughs> and she was like trying to catch confetti to the point where somebody behind us tapped her on the shoulder and was like, "Here, here you go," <laughs> and like Aww. gave her confetti. She was like. Thank you. And I think she realized at that moment she was being a little crazy. <laughs> she was like, I was like, are you going to save it? She's Beyonce like, oh, brings like something it. different out of you. She does. That Because I remember. What's the one with the water? Freedom, freedom. At M&T Bank. I can't move. That's you and the Mrs. Carter and... tour. On the run tour. It wasn't on the run. Because on the run was with Jay-Z. Jay-Z wasn't at that one. It was the year after that. Mrs. Miss Carter's earlier. It's like she did the lemonade. <laughs> the lemonade, yeah. Good gravy. I've no, been to a lot of concerts. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't. It was Emma Yeah, though. y'all were there, and y'all were just in a different section yeah, from us. And it. my god sister went. Yeah, girl, did I tell you what my god sister said? Mm mm. So her birthday's coming up. You know her birthday. Her and Darian's birthday is the same day. Yeah. And. She says, hey, you know, celebrating my birthday mm-hmm. in April. Mm-hmm. Just wanted to invite you and your mom is invited too. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'm thinking she's doing a dinner or something. Do you know the next message that comes through is for a lingerie party? With mom? With my mother. Black lingerie is the attire with my mother. <laughs> she's turning 24 years old 24 yeah she's turning 24 i mean i guess you yeah i don't know why i sound old but i'm like you want a young hot thing you wouldn't want to do a lingerie party i think the lingerie party is fine the inviting my almost 60 year old mother, mother to the lingerie party yeah is where i'm like, i think that's that getting a little dicey a lot of dicey i'm 30 and i don't know if i would go to a 24 year old lingerie, lingerie party, party. That's now nah, I would go to a 30 year old lingerie party. And okay. y'all save that, remember that somebody have it and see if she actually comes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go, you go. No, 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 that's not what the stage is. Part of me wants to be like, my roommate will go with me, but she wouldn't. She's not gone. <laughs> go She's not gone. Me. Listen, she we're not gonna she... talk about her because last time apparently we was gonna get somebody in trouble. <laughs> Leaving, leaving y'all out of it. I don't want to hear nothing. Like, I want no crazy phone calls. calls. Hey, you say his name. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It's her. She would be like, no. No. Taylor, no. I don't think anyone would go to Brittany Mike. Are we Are we at the point where we're saying names? Because <laughs> that's all. Well, they've all been on it. They're not going to hate us. They're not going to answer either. They might comment and be like, no, B. What I'm, what y'all don't know is. 
sometimes we get FaceTimes. Me- FaceTime meetings. <laughs> Group FaceTime. <laughs> Group FaceTimes. <laughs> that are like, I have lost your You mind. know who would go? <laughs> you know who would go? Who? Kiana. If I asked Kiana to go to a, a lingerie party with me, she would say, she would be like, she you might cuss me out, but she would say yeah. The last time... You name dropped on this podcast. You blamed me. <laughs> I'll take this one. You're gonna take all of it. <laughs> I haven't said anything. <laughs> Key would go with me. Okay. Now, at this point in our lives, if we were going to a lingerie party that did not include any fraternity, she would go. Okay. Now, if there are any fraternities there? It's probably a. a it'll be a strong. A good no. Um. No, really. Let Let me say this. If it's a fraternity party. Okay. Versus like a basic party. Okay. Not, not basic, but like not. Yeah, a, just a general party. Yeah. <laughs> general party. Um, and everyone has to be over the age of thirty. Thirty and up. Oh, that's a long party. Listen, all of this is single. <laughs> and throwing in some lingerie, okay? All of is this. Is it single and mingling or is it single? Just single. Oh, okay. No <laughs> Let's not get things You have to be like people. super duper dope for me to be mingling with you. You you do. Like, if your vibe is just not. You gotta okay. be dope in order for me to mingle with you at this point. Okay. I'm not gonna deep dive into that. You can if you want to. No, it's okay. real simple. Okay. Real, real simple. I mean, dope is subjective. <laughs> so I was. If you're do- if you pique my interest, if you pique my interest, that means you're dope. Like, you have to be super dope in order for me to like come out of the single mindset. If you're not, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We can. Okay. You can buy me Chipotle. Ow. Ow. Okay. I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. <laughs> just I don't know who I am. Keep no mute for that. I don't know who I am. Ooh, we were talking. What? We were talking about festivals. Oh. Now we're going to say something else. You want to go to the lingerie party with me? Yeah, girl, I'll go. I'm going to take this buddy. Snitched. And be in there. Hey, y'all. I don't even know. sit be by myself. No, Why do you sit by yourself? Cause I want, I'm not a, I don't want to socialize. I want to be You know, I thought you were a bigger social butterfly than you really are. People think that I am and I'm not. That's so weird to me. I don't know I why. I realize it now. But like when we were out here, out here, <laughs> we were socially butterflying it up. So, but now I realize you're not that big. You're not. I'm not. I have had earrings on this whole time. Nope. You're not that much of a social <laughs> butterfly, which is weird to me. Yeah. People, when I tell people that, they're everybody's like, that's a lie. And I'm like, I don't talk. One. You're more quiet than. Yeah. If I, I don't know. know people, chances are I'm not going to talk unless somebody speaks to me. If somebody speaks to me, then yeah, we'll have a conversation, whatever. But other than that, am I going to go into a room and flap my wings, <laughs> be free, turn my cocoon into a wonderful butterfly. No. Why not? I'm shy, and people don't believe that. I just am. It's so weird to me, because you always have shit coming out your mouth that you're shy. When I'm comfortable, you get to know the girl. And when you're not, you don't. <laughs> but do you, so you know that about you. You're not being standoffish, you're just like. No, it's just, I'm very much a... If somebody speaks to me, I have no problem talking to them. And having, no. And having a conversation. Or the only time that I'm very like, oh, let me go talk to this person is if it's a big group of my friends mm-hmm. and then it's one person off to themselves. And then I'll be sure to, like, I like to make people feel like they're yeah. comfortable and involved or like, you know, they don't have to stand by themselves. Other than that, I sit back so and watch. So you get That's all the tea. That's so weird. So you get all the tea. I feel door. like I'd be in the mix and then you on the ride mix. home is when I get the tea. Yeah, because I, I can so add much. a little bit more to the tea. Like, yes. you'll, like, Jay will get a whole, like, what is it, panorama yeah. shot? I was like, I'll get and the I'll whole get, like, picture. The, I'll get the more intimate details of Yeah, because I'll probably seem like the history and I'll be like, mm, okay. <laughs> See, okay. I remember being at a party and I was, I was like, super BJ, like, tic-tac-toeing. 
And when you know me, you know what that means. I was like going here, talking to this one, talking to that one, around that corner. And I, when I came back, you were sitting on the floor and I ended up crawling over to you. Yeah. But yep. like that's, I think that's what I think about now. But yeah. there was a man sitting next to you. Talking my ear off. <laughs> You know when you ch- you know when you're at a function and you're like good by yourself. Like let me just sit here. And you probably needed to be by yourself because me and my friend that was there, ah, ah, we were yeah on one. <laughs> we one. And I I feel like um, when I was working at Living Social and like going out with them, they would mm-hmm. call me Turn Up Mom because I was a person that's like I'll get you drunk, I'll probably be drunk, but I still work really quickly and I'll be like, hey, stop that. Hey, did you eat? Did we, can you can you get your shit together? Mm-hmm. Stop crawling. Get up off the floor. <laughs> I had y'all. I had these booty shorts on. We had just come from a party, and I was feeling my damn self. Okay. And she crawled <laughs> over to me, <laughs> and I, you know, when your mother talks through her teeth to you, and it's like her lips curl up, and she was like, "Get up off the. If you don't get your ass off the floor." But she was. You were sitting on the floor. What did you want me to do? How did you want me to walk over to you? Stop on my feet. And <laughs> it, it wasn't like a. It wasn't like a just a crawl. No, she was like a cat woman. Crawl. She's doing a seductive crawl to me, and I have this man sitting next to me. I didn't realize he was sitting there talking. I bet you. it was tunnel vision. <laughs> tunnel vision. And he was he said something about it and I look over like you know when you're talking to somebody you're like kinda zoned out or whatever and then your eyes match <laughs> the person in front of you. I was like, get off the floor. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. She was just what? Do I look like Catwoman? I said, I'm just kinda caught too sexy. Wait, 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 let me do it again. <laughs> I was like, please don't do it again. And that's back when she couldn't whisper. Now she couldn't whisper before she couldn't whisper. It was the loudest whisper. If it's too much alcohol, I realized on my birthday, if it's too much alcohol, I can't whisper. No, it's a very, how are you doing? Like, please stop. That is not Did a whisper. You think they know? <laughs> she lucky that I don't die. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to be like, oh, yep, got it. Got it. Yep. It's okay. Let's step over here. So people don't hear your loud ass whisper. Child. Yes, ma. I I love these podcasts that like go really quickly because they're not about anything specific. Anything. It's just like I like letting you guys in on some of our foolish conversations. Yeah. That like we probably shouldn't have. Yeah. But we do. This is our way. This is real life. What were we talking about earlier today? And you were like, get your shit together. When we were talking about Ayamba. Oh. Uh, and you were like, oh. No. And she was talking about meeting up with people to on Craigslist. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to take that there. Yeah. You don't want to go there. No. And I, told her, I was like, all right. <laughs> what, we, what won't happen? I thought we were talking about uh, Brandy Maxfield. Yeah, that's how it started. Okay. And then you took it left never with your mind. hypothetical uh, situation. Never mind. Something is wrong with her. It is. Something is wrong with her. Even though I know she's not going to do this stuff that we talk about her potentially doing, but something is wrong with her. I think it's fun to discuss it. Because for me, like, once I talk about it, nine times out of... Eight times. Nine. 7.5 times out of 10, it won't happen. Like, what we were talking about earlier definitely won't happen. Yeah, I was like, I know you're not crazy enough to do it, mm-hmm. but just in case you decide to be crazy enough to do it, like, there's a lapse in judgment. <laughs> there's a lapse... First At 30, all, can you have a lapse in judgment? Sure. The consequences are just bigger? Sure, if you have anything to lose. You might be 30 with nothing to lose. <laughs> you might be 30 with like... like no, I feel fight. like when you're younger, you have... There's more of a leniency. There is... Yeah, when you're like under... I think like, like with each age group, like you're 25. under 18, it's leniency. Like, and right. then once you hit 21, there's a little less leniency. 25, yeah. a little less leniency. Maybe you're past 30, 25. You're like, you know better. That know better is serious. It is. Yeah. It is. And you can't use like a, oh, I'm young or I didn't know. Listen. You know. You know. Like, let's, let's be you smart. Know. Let's think things through. And if you think things through and you still end up with the wrong answer, I think you need to seek help. Well, that's your friends, therapist, the Lord. <laughs> or all of the or above. Or all of the above. <laughs> you might need a little help. 
You want to wrap this one? Yeah, sure. All right, y'all. This was our first off the cuff. Uh, let's see if Jane really lets it. If she will be like, yeah, let's let's post it. But this is a fine one. We were talking about purchasing lingerie, <laughs> like on the last one. And who she was gonna use it for? That's never make it. That's never. You know what? If we get ten people that say post the no, no, you want twenty? I want a million. That's to be reasonable. No. <laughs> Out five hundred. I'll say a hundred. A uh, hundred. If you get a hundred people to say release the, we're not gonna hit that number. So let's. I know, right? <laughs> release the unaired off the cuff. Because no. I think that one was fun. I don't even know what the fuck we talked about. The audio quality wasn't good. No, it wasn't. It wasn't as good. That's, we have no. episodes that are like we've held on to yeah. that Fair don't have day. good audio quality and that's the only thing that's holding me up from releasing it because what I don't want to hear anymore is you guys should fix your mind. We can't really hear we you. We don't know what you're saying. <laughs> it's like we know. We're getting better. We got better. Yeah, we fixed it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Just don't, if you don't have the answer to the issue. Uh, cut where you are. It's VJ. It's Jane. And this is a sip and, and a, a shot. shot. Bye. Bye.